And then two mushrooms should make, of course, a poison sword. How cool is this? I love alchemy. Can't get you out of my... What's going on everybody, Dragos here, and welcome back to my wonderful shop in Shopkeep. So I've been playing around with this alchemy a bit, I've been researching it, trying to figure out how this thing currently works, and basically what the developers did was they released 29 secret recipes that the community has to figure out to create unique items that are worth a lot of money. Um, now I'm trying to figure out how to get gold because people on the forums have actually figured out how to make gold armor, but I don't really know how to get gold. I have a sneaky suspicion though that the gold plated shields will give us a bit of gold because you can't just drop gold coins in there from what I understand so yes there we go we got one liter of gold so now assuming I did this right we're gonna put a bunch more in here too let's just start storing up some of these resources okay so now I got a lot of different resources as you can see we got gold metal wood um, and junk, of course. I actually really like that. You just store any item in here, and what the item is made out of is what the resources that you get. So assuming the internet is correct, if I buy a plate chest now, actually we're gonna buy a plate everything and try and make a full gold suit if we can. But I think you can make gold armor now. Okay, my armor's here, so that means I can actually do this now, assuming I do it correctly. So to make a chest plate, it's said on the forms that you need chest plate plus junk bond plus gold liquid plus gold liquid. So we want to get some junk here. I don't even know which one's junk or what. I guess we'll just grab everything. Uh, so we just have everything and then we're going to use some of this to make hopefully a gold plate. Okay, so first you put in the chest plate. That makes sense. There we go. Now you're supposed to put in a liter of junk bond. I don't know why junk is added to gold armor, but hey, I'm not going to question it. And then two liters of gold. And that has given us a golden chest. Now, I, how much is this thing worth? Sold for $1,351. So this is what you really want to do if you want to make that big ticket price, uh, which of course I'm going to do. Now, I'm actually going to put all this rare stuff way back here and I'm going to keep an eye on it. That way, if people steal it, they have to run all the way to the door and I have a better chance of noticing them. But that is seriously so damn cool, like just something small like that really adds a lot to this game. So let's put this thing up here. You know what, maybe I should up the price. No, I think this is acceptable. I could also put it on my hero if I wanted to, but that's no fun. Now that actually took two liters of gold though, which is actually two shields. So it did cost me a lot to make that. We still got three liters of gold here. I'm assuming this is the gold. So let's make a few other golden items. Uh, do I have any more shields? I don't think so. So I could buy some more shields to get more gold. I don't think there's really anything else that's going to give me gold. Maybe the helper bot has a little gold around it, but I think the gold shield is the better option here. So we're gonna buy five more of those. I know I'm spending all of my money on this instead of stocking my store, but as you can see, our store is already stocked quite well. I'm just not gonna be able to expand it too much right now because I'm too interested in this alchemy. Oh, and our champion is back from wherever he went. Now, did he get anything? Got knocked out. Okay, so he has slain a weedling and he looted some arrows. Is there anything else? He looted a mushroom. Now, where can I get these? Does he have to come back and not get knocked out? Because I don't think I have the mushroom um, on me, which I actually need for a lot of the uh, alchemy things. Yeah, I'm assuming, unfortunately, because he got knocked out, I didn't get it. Now, that was just a forest pick, so we're going to do another forest pick with him. Hopefully, he'll get lucky this time and get something. And look at that, our shields are here, so we're going to throw a few more shields here. I, I spent, like, all my money on this. I feel kind of bad about that, but whatever. Okay, and there's the wonderful gold that we need, so I'm going to take all of that... That's really all I need. I think this is... Which one is junk? How much junk do I currently have? Okay, I have 12.6 liters of junk. That's more than everything else, so it's going to be... This one is the junk. They should really put a name tag on the top or something. Okay, so now it works the same way for every other plate item. So we put that on first, and then we put the junk bond on. Where is it? Uh, and then we put two gold bonds on. Where? There we go. We, oh, we actually got eight, so we might be able to make a full suit. Look at that badass thing. Oh my god, it actually changes the helmet as well. And now we're doing some pants. This is so damn easy. I'm really curious to see, like, how many other unique things there are. Because gold armor is pretty cool, but if we can make, like, certain unique weapons or enhanced weapons, that would be really fun to do. 
Oh, look at them golden boots. That's so cool. Okay, I think there's one more thing I can do. Well, I only have that enough for one more thing for gold. So let's do plate shoulders here. I'm assuming you can do it. I have no idea, though. And junk bond. And our final two gold makes us some gold plate shoulders. That's so cool. Okay, so I got basically a full set of gold. So there is our full gold set. We got the helmet over here, the plates, body, and legs, and then the plate boots, and the plate shoulders. I really want to almost put that on my champion, but I don't think it's really worth it. I don't know if it adds much stats or anything. So yeah, we're just going to keep it like that for right now. And I think we're pretty much good to open up shop. Maybe I should just throw a few other things back here, because why the hell not? I got some extra stuff, and we definitely need to earn money. As you can see, we are seriously out right now. Okay, there we go. I actually wonder if we can make a golden sword. That'd be nice to try tomorrow. But yes, let's open up this shop and hopefully sell all of this really, really quickly because I need some money. And somehow it's already dirty. Did I, did I get it dirty? Like, what the fuck? Seriously. I foresee a lot of sweeping coming up. I forgot to buy the damn floor mats again. Uh, they are bugged out, I've been told anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm going to want to buy them anyways just to see if they've been fixed yet. Oh, oh, this guy's got a golden shield. I think he wants to add to his gold collection. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, you know you want that helmet. Yes! He bought the golden helmet. Actually, shit, the plate boots are gone, too. Who bought the plate boots? I want to see them on you. Um, oh, there's a dead guy here. Good job! You have fucking caught someone for once. I just want to see if there's... Where, where are my golden plate boots? I want to see what they look like. Oh, man, I can't find them now. And my chest piece is gone as well now. This guy's replacing the sword. I guess someone got mad at the sword price. I hope someone didn't steal my chest piece, but we're already at $11,000. So I'm assuming we're doing pretty good here. Our uh, store is still stocked quite well, so I'm not going to buy anything else yet. I'm just watching for thieves more than any anything this time. But as you can see, my shop bot is doing a good job at dealing with those thieves. I'm actually just going to keep them there and then turn them into bone uh, for alchemy when we're done with this day. Oh, what are you gonna buy? There's only two gold pieces left. Yes, he bought the plate legs. Wow, that actually went really quickly. I was expecting, because it was such a high cost item, that uh, people wouldn't be buying it immediately. But we're already at $17,000. Again, my store is still pretty well stocked. So really the major things that sold was that gold gear. So it must be in high demand because, oh, well, it's really hard to make. Okay, the shop's closed. As you can see, we actually still have quite a few items, and I actually like that. If I can make $22,000 during a day and not have to rebuy, that's the way I like to be do doing it. So let's clean up a bit here. We got a few skeletons to uh, grind up into bone, and then I'm going to do some more alchemy. Hopefully I can figure out a few more recipes, because that really intrigues me. I love it when you can get these rare items that you have to figure out. Okay, so I found another one on the forums. We got Metal Junk Bond. And then a liter of wood and a liter of wood. I don't know how you liquefy wood, but that gives you a spear. How much is this thing worth? Sold for $859. That's a hell of a lot more money. Um, should I put this over here? I think I should probably make a weapon rack over here. I think I should have all my rare commodities way back here. I think it's a smarter idea. Okay, so there's my wonderful spear. It's actually held upside down for whatever reason. Probably shouldn't do that. It's going to dull the, the tip, but whatever. Uh, this plate didn't even sell, so we'll probably just take this back and go make it into gold if we can. I'm also going to buy some seeds to do some um, farming because I do need all these items for a lot of these e alchemy things. So now I have mushrooms and weed if I do need it. Okay, and there we go. So we should have some seeds somewhere in here. I bought nine of each, yes, because each one of these things uses nine. That should be more than enough for right now. Now, I'm supposed to sit here and watch these, though, because um, they grow so damn quickly. And if you miss it... You uh, ruin the item like we did in the last episode with the weed seeds. Okay, I have found a glitch in the game. When you plant things and you're standing over here, you can't jump over the fucking plants to get out. Uh, these things are growing up quickly. I'm going to miss them if I don't harvest shit here. And of course, I can't harvest anything until it's... Oh, there we go. I actually got over it. It's Jesus Christ. Okay, harvest this quick. We need these items. There we go. Yes. Look at all those mushrooms that we just got. And we got these as well, which are mush, which is, a, I guess, half of a mushroom. Makes a lot of sense. And some weed as well. Sick. Now we can make a poison sword. I'm actually going to make this for this guy, I think. I don't think I gave him a weapon, did I? Speaking of him, he actually came back. Let's see what he looted. 
He looted nothing. He got knocked out. Oh, no, he got... He got some arrows, and that's it. Uh, I don't need arrows. I need better items than that, damn it. Anyways, let's make a poison sword for him. So we want this sword, and then we want some junk bond. And then two mushrooms should make, of course, a poison sword. How cool is this? I love alchemy. And we'll give him that poison sword. I actually want to see if it's if it's equipped on him. Yes, look at that. I should probably get him a shield as well. Uh, do I have any good shields over here? Or bad shields or anything? Yeah, we'll just take the buckle shield. Why not? Okay, and we'll give him a shield, and then we'll tell him to go forest picking once again. Because he's having a hard time at forest picking. I don't want to upgrade him to the next tier until I'm sure he can continue to uh, beat forest picking. I guess you can make a druid set as well. Again, I'm really digging in deep to find all these alchemy recipes. So if we do wood, and then junk bond, and then two more wood, that's going to give us a wooden druid helmet. Um, of course, we can do the whole set here too. Hopefully, we have enough. Okay, so we got the chest, the wood chest, the wood shoulders, what else did we get here? Oh yeah, the wooden helm, of course, this is one of the coolest helms I've seen in the game. Um, this sells for 888 gold, wow, 878. So yeah, even this wood gear is worth so much. So yeah, there is the so-called druid set, it's actually just a wood set, but people are calling it the druid set. Um, and yeah, we got the spear and then the poison sword as well. Uh, so yeah, we got like, what, nine different pieces of gear that we figured out already. This is so damn cool. Okay, I'm gonna sweep up this shop a bit before I open up once again. It is quite dirty. I'm also gonna upgrade the shop, of course, as well, too. We got a lot of space, and I wanna use it. But first and foremost, we need these so freaking badly that I'm going to make sure like, this whole starting area is just going to be this, so I don't gotta deal with fucking sweeping anymore. Okay, there we go. I, th I think that's enough floor mats. Hopefully their feet are squeaky clean. Now we wanna, you know, set up this other room over here. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this room. Again, you get so much space in this game, but there really isn't that many items. I mean, now that they added alchemy, they pretty much doubled the items, but they're really hard to make. Okay, I might have went a little overboard here, but we had this little shop now, and now we have this. We're turning into freaking the Walmart of the medieval ages. Now, I don't have much money to stock up. I mean, $11,000 sounds like a lot, but look at all the freaking things I need to stock. So I'm gonna do the biggest purchase I've pretty much ever done, I think, um, and buy as much as I can. Okay, our champion's back once again, so let's see what he looted before we start the day off. We got a premium dirt cake. Where the hell can I get this thing? Looted a solid bone and then looted arrows, so I don't know where I can grab these things. Do I have them? I don't have them on me. I don't have a dirt cake on me. No, I've pretty much looted everything. Is there somewhere where I have to loot it? So yeah, I don't know where this stuff is, but we're gonna send them out again. I'm sure I'll figure it out and I'll have a storage of it somewhere. Is it like over here or... Oh! Ah, oh, there it is. I probably anyways. Oh yeah, there we go. A premium dirt cake. Sold for two. Oh my god. Okay, so this dirt cake is worth two gold. Amazing, right? And we got a solid bone here as well. It's actually worth zero, so I'm assuming it's made to get extra bone here. So there we go. Yeah, we got two liters of bone with just one bone. That makes a lot of sense. Anyways, we're pretty much ready for the day. I didn't get to stock my whole store. You can see I'm missing some armor here. Actually, we got one chest piece, so we can throw that on there. Um, but yeah, this a lot of this spot is missing a lot of things, and I kind of just threw things down everywhere, as I typically do. But it is stocked pretty damn well. I think tomorrow will be the big day where I can seriously stock up this whole store, but we got a lot of stuff in here. Probably $20,000 worth of loot, at least. So yeah, let's open up, hope for the best, and uh, see how many people come into my store now. Well, I see a lot of people walking in. That's a good sign. There's like a whole wave of them coming in right now. Uh, and my carpets seem to be working, which is very important. So yes, buy everything, everybody. Is there anyone over here? Uh, I don't know, like, if further away from the door lessens the chance of people seeing it or whatnot. Uh, ooh, these guys are coming down here. Are you guys gonna buy what I think you're gonna buy? Which is my wonderful druid gear. This guy's got gold plate legs on. He, you know he means business. Oh, he just, he just swore at me. He clearly doesn't like my prices. And he moved my spear. How dare you? I gotta pick this up. But my druid's top did sell. This guy is rocking it right now. So thank you, Daniel Romeros. I think that was your name. Iron Butthead. I didn't even notice these guys have names until I actually... Oh, I can talk to people? Holy shit! This is totally new. I found my priority item, which is armored boots. 
Interesting, I can offer inventory items? Uh, so if they don't like what they see and I have it on me, I can offer them it in my inventory. Interesting. Oh, you motherfucker, you're gonna get it, aren't you? You don't- You stole my fucking spear? Are you serious? Can I, can I, please tell me I can get this back. Oh, thank God. Good try, but I noticed you. Goddamn people trying to steal my spear. And look at this, they knocked down this as well. So my prime items haven't even been selling because people are mad about prices. These rugs are working remarkably well, but they are vanishing as you can see. I spent a lot of money on these rugs and they only worked for like the starting of the day. So clearly they're not the best idea. Looks like we got some barbarians coming in. <laughs> I think there's a, whole, a grand total of, oh, there's, there's a few more this time. No, don't, don't do that, please. Oh, God damn it! you broke my fucking shelves, you bastards. Just fucking die. I actually need your loot, so I'm not even that mad. But you guys really fucked up my store this time, God damn it. It looks like my worker bots are gonna be busy picking up potions because they're fucking everywhere. This is great. I probably should repair these things every now and then. I mean, they are wearing down quite a bit. Um, that's something I commonly forget about because you really only have to do it once every like five or six days. So you just totally forget that things wear down. I feel so bad for this dirt cake. Everything else is being bought, but the dirt cake is sitting here lonely for a grand total of two gold. Nobody seems to want to buy it. I wonder why. And I love how ghetto my store is looking right now. Imagine just walking into a store seeing dead bodies over here, a broken, sh a couple broken shelves, and just people everywhere, dirt everywhere now because of my freaking mats broke. Goddamn sweeping is such a bitch in this game. Well, it's looking like even though I'm charging quite a bit, people are really enjoying my prices. A few things aren't selling, like the Ninja Stars here are not doing very well. But everything else, I mean, we pretty much emptied out this first room. Um, still a few potions on the wall. Over here, we emptied out a lot of it as well, like there's nothing on the hat racks anymore. Still a lot of plate armor, which someone just oddly bought. Oh, him, thank you. But yeah, we don't have much left. Again, more ninja stars, so I don't know why people are not buying ninja stars. I guess our ninja population is definitely lacking. We got lots of potions still over here, so that's good to know for future reference. Maybe I don't need that many potions, but we're at $27,000 earned, and I did pay off a $5,000 um, tax deduction, so yeah, not too bad. Oh my god, I just got another one. This thing has been sniping people. A lot of people are trying to steal potions. Like, I'm sorry, if you come into a store and steal the cheapest item, you're not a very smart man. Okay, I saw this guy looking for a buckle shield and someone threw it up in the air. So yeah, he's looking for a buckle shield. I just got one. There we go. Oh, shit. No, I wanted to trade with him. I wanted to try that out. Goddamn barbarians always ruining things. Okay, where's the, like, two barbarians that try and fight me? Let's kill these ones first. There we go. They didn't even get into my store. You know, I should just fight out here. That way they don't break my shelving units. Shopkeeping is a dangerous business, evidently, because clearly I've killed, like, seven people today. Um, now I gotta drag this guy back. People said in the comments there's a dragging button. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what it is, but clearly I'm not doing it right. Like, I've tried going from 1, 2, 3, and 4 and moving it with right click. It's not working. Someone said middle mouse button as well. That's not working. So I guess I just gotta kick the barbarians back here. I also like how people come back into the store with the items that you've purchased. What the fuck's going on over here? Oh, are the skeletons in the way, guys? I'm sorry. Here, let me help you out. Um, maybe there's something wrong with this shelf. Because there's clearly a few people staring at it over here. There's people, like, standing around everywhere. They just hang out in my fucking shop now. There's people there, there's people here. Like, I, I don't- clearly something's glitched out, but I think it's just hilarious that, it was just, that they're just kind of standing here. Oh! People are running, that must mean it is time to go. I like how people, like, freak out at the end of the day, they have to get out right away. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, we got a few dead bodies in here, not too bad. But damn, these shop bots are really working well right now. Okay, let's see how my, uh, champion did. Uh, did he get anything? We got slain an uncuttable stump. We looted a mana potion, some arrows, uh, and some throwing stars. Okay, we're definitely gonna gear him out to do some big bigger things like the Dragon Claw Cave. I gotta assume there's some very rare resources there that might go into alchemy, or you can just sell them as well. So yeah, I do wanna gear him out for sure. Uh, right now he's just got a poison sword. I think we'll get him a golden set next time. As you can see, we did pretty well today. We got almost $40,000, and I paid out a $5,000 tax fine, so not too bad at all. There's not much else left in this store. A few potions here and there. 
Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's left. You can see the Ninja Stars as well. They didn't sell very well for whatever reason, but everything else is pretty much gone besides a few gloves. Anyways, guys, another successful episode. I hope you enjoyed the alchemy aspect of this game. I'm definitely going to be focusing more on that in the near future because that is definitely one of the coolest things they have added. I love it when they add, like, rare items like that. So yeah, guys, once again, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.